Hi, my name is Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com and KillerPHP.com and welcome to Killer JavaScript 1. This is a beginner's video tutorial course on JavaScript. As I said, this course is designed for total beginners, so I'm assuming that you've never seen JavaScript before and more importantly, I'm assuming that you've never actually programmed in any programming language before. So when we come across one of these concepts that may uh, trip up a few people, we'll step aside and we'll take a closer look at it just to be sure that you're, uh, you're pretty clear about it so we can move forward. For this course, you don't need to have a terrible amount of web design knowledge, but what you do need to know is, uh, number one, basic HTML. You should be comfortable writing HTML code, and you should also know some CSS. Although, in either case, you don't need to be a guru, a maniac, nerd master in each of them. You just need to have basic working knowledge of HTML and CSS so that uh, when we do our JavaScript work, you feel comfortable manipulating the HTML and so on with the JavaScript. That's a, a little sneak peek there. That's a big part of what JavaScript does. It allows you to go in there and dynamically on the fly, change things in your HTML and it's pretty cool. One thing about all my video tutorials and Killer JavaScript One is no exception is that I tend to really focus on practical work as opposed to theoretical. So what does that mean? Well, in the case of JavaScript 1, my goal is to get into your hands, if you will, an understanding of JavaScript so that you can actually use it in practical ways in your own websites as quickly as possible. I'm not trying to make you in Killer JavaScript 1 into some sort of JavaScript guru, some maniac who understands the finer points and the nuances of the language. Uh, because really to have practical working knowledge of JavaScript, you don't need to really get that deep into it. And for most of us out there, we uh, will never need to get that deep into it. Again, the goal of this course is to emphasize the practical so what I uh, try to do as much as possible is to get you uh, going with practical, usable JavaScript and JavaScript theory as quickly as possible. In terms of the software, you don't need anything special to write JavaScript code. All you need is uh, your simple text editor and you need the web browser, of course, to run the code any web browser will do because all the modern web browsers support JavaScript right out of the box. So what does that mean by support? It means it runs it. So whether you're using IE, Firefox, Safari, Opera, they all work and use JavaScript pretty much, pretty much the same. So it doesn't really matter. Although in the long run, I recommend using Firefox, especially on the PC, for your web designing because uh, when it comes to web browsers, Firefox has a lot of friendly features built into it and has a lot of external plugins that are free but uh, that make it very useful for web designers. And it does have, of course, some extra JavaScript tools, which I, I may look at in this course, that uh, will help you when you're writing your JavaScript code. That all said, it's not essential if you prefer to use IE7 or um, Safari or whatever. It's up to you. Personally, in these tutorials, I'm probably going to be running everything in Firefox. If you're a Dreamweaver or an Expression web user, you can use that too to write your JavaScript code. It really doesn't matter. Even if you're one of these bare bones guys in terms of your HTML and CSS, you can use BB Edit on the Mac or WordPad or Notepad on Windows. In terms of, again, in terms of the software, you don't need anything complex. You just need a, something to edit your, your code. What you use for HTML and CSS is fine. 
and a, your web browser, of course. To close off this introduction, I uh, want to talk about the style of my presentation. And the style is uh, something that's consistent throughout my videos. I won't give you the long version. I'm going to give you the short version here. Essentially, everything that I do is based on three principles. Be simple, be practical, and be concise. So when I'm talking about being simple, when I teach JavaScript 1 or PHP or whatever, when I teach JavaScript 1, you'll find that I use a very easygoing language. I do my best to avoid complex nerd terms. On the occasion that I do have to introduce some sort of new uh, technical term to you related to JavaScript, and there are a couple, I take my time and I make sure that, that you understand these things before we move ahead. So don't worry about that. But my, my tendency, though, is in all my videos is to use a, a simpler language to try to make this stuff as approachable as possible. The other principle is to be practical. And again, I addressed this earlier on where my goal again is to, as quickly as possible, uh, get practical, usable JavaScript skills in your hands uh, so that you can apply them in your websites right away. I, uh, I stay away from the stuff that's not really used too often in day-to-day uh, -day JavaScript programming. And finally, I try to be concise. I, uh, I'm not here to fill up hours of video. My point is to get the stuff in your hands as quickly as possible because we all got things to do. You know, we got to play video games or uh, go have a beer or something. So we don't want to be sitting in front of uh, video tutorials listening to me for hours unnecessarily. So you'll find that I try to, as quickly as possible, without being confusing, of course, to get this JavaScript knowledge in your head. So what can we do with JavaScript? Well, let's look at a couple of things. JavaScript is, uh, well, one of the common things that you see JavaScript used for is um, a form validation. Let's go back. I'm just trying to remember where I put some form validation routines. Here we go. Here's an, an old page in killer site. So here's a form. Now it says it's looking for an email address. Now when I click this, I click the join button. You see this little pop-up window? This is called a JavaScript alert box, and there's a message, please be sure to enter a proper email address. So that's JavaScript doing this. JavaScript is be able to, I wrote the JavaScript to, to study this, to make sure it was a proper email address, to make sure it matched. And then when somebody clicks on this, the JavaScript fires off, and we get this error because I didn't put anything in there. That's a simple example. So we're going to look at that, how we can use JavaScript to uh, verify form information. Another thing you can do with uh, JavaScript is uh, dynamically reposition elements on your page. So you got these, these nifty drop downs here. This is all done with JavaScript, of course. So we're going to look at stuff like this. Now, this is very simple stuff. For instance, uh, this video actually is actually embedded using JavaScript. And that's just uh, another example. Well, this is Flash, of course, but this Flash was embedded using JavaScript routines. And finally, I'm going to show you JavaScript is a, is a universal standard. And so there's lots of free JavaScript libraries out there that uh, you can use in your websites. And you can add a lot of power to uh, your websites without doing very much work. One of these free libraries is something called Scriptaculous. Now watch what happens when I load this page. What you're going to see here is just pure JavaScript. Let me just center this so we see it here. This uh, effect was done using JavaScript, which is kind of cool. And uh, so we can look at different functionality that frameworks like Scriptaculous provides for us for free. So let's see if there's a demo down here. Now here's a demo. So it's like, see, this is JavaScript is allowing us to do this drag and drop type of thing. Or watch this, it's going to bounce back, I think. See, this is all JavaScript. So this is kind of cool. Stacking, see your transparency when I click on it. So this is just some of the things that you can do with JavaScript in Scriptaculous. It's just one of these JavaScript packages 
that are free that you can use to add all kinds of dynamic, cool functionality to your site without too much work.